नमस्ते टू गुरुजी एंड जय गुरुजी टू द एंटायर संगत आई डोंट नो हाउ टू स्टार्ट एंड वेयर टू स्टार्ट फ्रॉम बिकॉज गुरुजी हैज डन इन अबंडेंस फॉर अस अंकल इज आस्किंग मी टू से इन हिंदी बट गुरुजी हैड ऑलवेज टोल मी कि आंटी इंग्लिश विच बोल सो टुडे आई वुड वॉन्ट टू ओनली स्पीक इन इंग्लिश सिंस आई थिंक इट्स अ कॉल फ्रॉम हिम so i want to speak only in english <clears throat> once guruji told me ki uh, some new sangat had come and he said that you know das ki guru ki honda hai so i myself was a little this ki kya bolu what else to say we are only always thinking of all the miracles that he has done for us and i came across one write up which said no god is equal of my guru so i went up to him after a few days and i said guruji i have a little thing for that uh, question that you had said ki kisi sangat ko sunao so he said mainu ki dasna khadi ho ke sari sangat nu suna so i read that to him which meant the uh, lines were no god is equal of my guru see guru in the literal meaning is gu and ru gu which is darkness and ru which is light so our journey with guru ji was that he took us from darkness to light and we all know this because we all went to him with some problem or the other when we went to him before that we had been to mandirs babas fakirs saints but they never answered us and our problems went bad to worse as time went on but when we came to guru ji we got our answers in some form or the other it was not so easy to speak to him to question him to tell him what we are going through but there was something that always pulled us to him and he gave us some peace of mind at the time when every person of the family was having some problem or the other so there is no god can be equal of our guru our guru spoke to us told us everything in some form or the other he held us our fingers like a child he decided for everything that we wanted a decision to be made in some form or the other it's not necessary that he said it in his words but through someone as uncle also said through some shabad and sometimes even if we could not speak to him directly he is to ask thus आज की कहना है सो नो गॉड इज इक्वल ऑफ आर गुरु बिकॉज ही डिड एवरी थिंग फॉर अस आर एवरी डेली रूटीन इट्स वेरी डिफिकल्ट टू एक्सप्रेस एंड एज टाइम इज शॉर्ट एंड वी हैव जस्ट ओनली ट्वेंटी मिनट्स गिवन आई थिंक आई वोट बी एबल टू रियली टेल यू सो मच ही हैज डन सो मच एंड फॉर ईच वन ऑफ अस लेट मी जस्ट स्टार्ट विथ समथिंग लाइक my father now had had a heart attack and he we took him to malhotra heart institute they said that he uh, angioplasty will have to be done because his um, front muscle was damaged and his heart was working pumping only 65% so it was a matter of worry and no matter we say guru ji is with us we are all human beings so we all were disturbed we were had to say yes to the surgery and it started off in the meanwhile when things were really uh, tough to take because his bp and everything was a little heavy at a point of time at that time we got only guru ji's fragrance in abundance in an hospital where it only smelt of medicines and spirit so we knew he is with us and everything will be fine and so did it happen the day he was discharged from the hospital 
the uh, we ha we stopped at empire estate my father in law went in and as he turned in towards guruji guruji said aao oh, uncle new life mil gayi and he started with the kada prasad at that time and he called him first and he gave him a lot of kada prasad and he said jab baith ke kha le we were all wondering because when we left from the hospital we were given a big huge diet chart where very little of everything had to be done but guru ji's orders and that was the prasad and medicine for him so he had it and moved on with his life in a positive manner and was fine so i don't know how to even say ki it's uh, a very big thing but for guru ji it was very very simple but he gave a new life and i let me tell you <laughs> no one can do that he has changed destinies of each one of us in some form or the other these are just ways just ways for all of us to just understand him a little better i think no one can really understand him but these are they, these were just his ways of saying then my husband had bronchial asthma when we went to guruji he was in deep depression because of a lot of uh, financial problems also his business was not doing well and we all actually went to him for all these problems not realizing we are going to god and i think that is the supermost thing that we could have even dreamt of so when we he went to him and uh, we used to see the sangat moving on and talking to guruji guruji giving upai and things like that and sitting there my husband one day had an asthma attack and he was wheezing tremendously so he went up to guruji and said guruji mainu sa chad raha hai so guruji said changa hai koi gal nahi ja piche ja ke baith ja he went back and sat down and wondering in minds you know there are so many questions at that time just kept num but when he gave us aa gaya he told my husband ek tambe da lota le aaye and uh, get it blessed so we got it blessed from him and ever since he was having the water from that lota which was blessed by guru ji he was fine and getting better by days and in a few months he was absolutely fine and things started changing for him he was very very positive and his depression to just vanished he used to feel very cold so he used to wear layers and layers and keep changing his caps this point why i am saying is because guruji used to say bada vemmi hai ek topi panda hai to ek landa hai ek panda hai to ek landa hai so why i am saying this is it's maybe just a matter of um, a small joke or mimic we all may take ki guruji mazak kar rahe hain but there was nothing like mazak he actually threw those caps and ever since then he was fine so he was vehmi he was so he had just his ways of saying things and you had to just take the ishara and move on then my son had this asthma problem since he was one and a half years old and uh, as a mother i was very very worried and one day went to guru ji and said guru ji mera beta and he actually shouted at me and said ki piche ja ke baith ja itthe aake gal na kare nahi te apne waste kam kharab kar lenge and again i was shocked that everybody speaks to him he answers everybody and then for me he saying go and sit behind i don't think that can be any upay very disillusioned with him and my life i said what's the use of coming to guru ji when he's not going to answer me these were things that used to run in i think they run in all of our minds when our things are not done so on this i just want to say one more thing that guru ji had said that i always do for you and i do to the fullest i do 80% ਤੇ ਜੇ 20% ਰਹਿ ਜਾਂਦਾ ਹੈ ਉਹ ਮੈਂ ਰੱਖ ਲੈਣਾ that is ਕਿ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਉਹਨੂੰ ਪੋਗ ਲਓ ਕਿਉਂਕਿ ਅੱਜ ਮੈਂ ਤੁਹਾਡੇ ਨਾਲ ਆ tomorrow with the when the next janam comes you have to carry that forward with a multi more fold so 
दैट ट्वेंटी परसेंट भोग लो अगर मैं इन्हें तुम्हें थोड़ी एट्टी परसेंट वापस ले लव तो वॉट विल हैपन सो दैट यू डोंट सी दैट एटी परसेंट दैट आई हैव डन फॉर यू बट दैट ट्वेंटी परसेंट यू आर ऑलवेज क्रिबिंग प्लीज डू विद इट एंड बेयर विद इट दैट इज योर ओनली सोल्यूशन एनी वे सो आई वेंट टू हिम ही जस्ट टोल मी नॉट टू टॉक अबाउट इट डिन वॉन्ट टू कम टू गुरु जी आफ्टर दैट थिंकिंग कि ही इज नॉट गोइंग टू एनी थिंग फॉर माई सन एंड एंड आई डोंट थिंक आई शुड बी हेयर बट एज आई टोल्ड यू देर वॉज अ स्टॉन्च पुल ऑल द टाइम द नेक्स्ट डे आई वॉज देयर अगेन एंड लाइक दैट थ्री ईयर्स पास्ट माई सन वॉज फोर एंड हाफ ईयर्स ओल्ड एंड देर वॉज अ फैमिली वेडिंग एंड माई आर गुरु जी केम ओवर टू अटेंड वन फंक्शन एट आर रेजिडेंस and he presided over the function and in the middle he just asked me for a glass of water now 3 and a half years had passed when i had just said mera beta that's all he didn't let me speak ahead of that so he asked for a glass of water and he had half of it and the rest half he called me and said apne bete nu pila de and i took that my son was on steroids and antibiotics at that point of time also it was winters and because of that he could not even have that half glass of water he could just gulp in two drops so he had that and um, we tried to give it to him during the night see a guruji ka prasad hai and i think this should be the solution by next day morning he finished that half glass of water and today he's 15 years of age and ever since then he's never fallen ill at that point of time his growth chart was coming down and the doctors used to say get this treatment that treatment done his height is not increasing his weight is not increasing so please do something but ever since then he has grown and he is a sportsman today so i am actually watching him while i watch him grow i see that every point whatever guruji had said is all coming true and that realization is only coming today at that time i had not realized i didn't believe in him so much and there's another thing that i would like to say time is short but i guess today's 25th and Guruji be our Santa, and all our dreams come true. And we are always hungry, Guruji, for your blessings and love. So please share it with us.